A civil society organization, the Act for Positive Transformation Initiative, has accused the Interim Management Committee, IMC, of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, of making an attempt to cover up an alleged 40 billion fraud in the commission. The head, Directorate of Research, Strategy and Programs of the organization, Kola Wale Johnson, in a statement said his organization was one of those that presented evidence of fraud against the IMC of the NDDC, which prompted the National Assembly to pass a resolution to investigate the fraud allegations. Johnson, however, raised an alarm, accusing the IMC of the NCDC, NDDC, of plotting to cover up the alleged fraud by writing a secret letter to the Senate requesting for violent few days to the end of the budget lifespan, which is expected to end on May 31, 2020. Joining us live is Ken Akalugo, public affairs analyst. Pleasure to have you on the news. Thank you so much. All right. The NDDC has always been in the news for allegations ranging from fraud to management crisis. Please make us understand the bone of contention. Well, the truth about it is uh, one of the reasons that uh, the NDDC seems to have been in the news for the very wrong reason is basically because uh, a lot of people have alleged that the trillions of naira that has been released to the NDDC, which is supposed to be an interventionist agency, has been mismanaged. And the, the bone of contention here is that the IMC was uh, inaugurated in October by the Minister of the Niger Delta, basically to carry out a forensic audit of all those projects and uh, programs that they were supposed to have carried out from uh, inception till date. But what we are having is a situation where the IMC is now being accused of uh, not only uh, awarding contracts, but also mismanaging the funds that were laid. Okay. Um the House of Reps has ordered a probe to the fraud allegations against the Commission. Are you optimistic this probe will see the light of day? Well, the, 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 the truth about it is the House of Representatives and the Senate, which are actually ordered for this drug, is uh, they, they, they have a tall order in the sense that it is not the hunter being the hunted. So they have no choice but to actually now carry out a holistic probe into the activities of the Interim Management Committee. Why do I say this? The job description of the Interim Management Committee was to carry out forensic audits and not to award contracts. One of the accusations they have made, which is, the, which is very worrisome, was awarding contracts for the procurement of uh, COVID-19 uh, items for the Niger Delta states. Then payments for contracts, which normally should have been the ones that should have been on the set line. Those are the ones that they were supposed to be investigated. But they did a payment of over 8 billion naira in a false swap. So this is actually has negated them from the mandates which they were given. All right, the Niger Delta Commission was created with the sole mandate of developing the oil-rich Niger Delta region. Has this purpose been achieved, in your opinion, to at least an acceptable degree? Yeah, if you ask me, I, I used to be a commissioner in an in a, in a interventional agency. If you look at the amount of money that have been uh, released to the Niger Delta Development Commission compared to the amount of infrastructural development that there is on ground, it, it, it doesn't uh, correlate. And what the whole idea of the NDDC is supposed to be is to, is to be a stopgap where the federal government has not been able to provide, especially since this nine states who are members of the NDDC are basically the states that are oil producing. And there has been an agitation that the oil producing area has been ignored and there has been so much poverty in these areas. So the NDDC's mandate, to me, in my own perspective, 
have not been achieved. Okay, uh, what, what do you say then to some uh, Niger Delta residents who are advocating that the commission be scrapped, claiming it has been of no impact? Well, I don't think it, scrapping the commission will be the solution. If an honest and a, if an honest forensic audit is actually carried out, we will be able to tell us where we have had the problem. And if we actually now have an honest board, which is inaugurated, the board will now act as a check and balance, especially under the supervision of a minister who would have the focus on the development of the Niger Delta and not the development of their individual pockets. Then we can have the NDDC reposition. All right, Ken, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. It's my pleasure.